Hello everyone, welcome to Phoenix Return. This is my YouTube gaming channel. Uh, today we'll be looking through the Vault, uh, the Future Vault Tech bundle, and uh, also we'll be looking at five of the Easter eggs in Fallout 76, and then also um, the mine carts and the billboard signs as well from the Atom Shop. Um, and also we'll be looking at the electric fly zapper machine as well. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll be going through those and just having a little look and see what they're like. So um, let's get into it. Billboards, mining cart, future vault tech bundle, five Easter eggs, and the fly zapper. So we're gonna look through these and um, just have a little closer look at them and see if they're any good or if they're worth it. So here's the globe. The globe really is the reason why I bought the bundle. I'm sure many people felt the same as me as well. They, It's a cool item. I heard you could get it for free, but I wasn't playing the game back then. So um, also you might notice that I have an animation when you spin it around as well. Definitely good for like a, a kind of vintage style base or kind of log cabin or maybe um, like a kind of, uh, maybe even a raider base. If you want it a bit more run down, you might be able to fit it in there somehow. So um, there is two flags that come in the bundle as well. So that's the Vault Tech one, and then they also have the Future Tech one as well. So I'm gonna look at the stairs for a second. I'm a little bit disappointed with the stairs. I brought them because I thought they were gonna be really big and really wide, but they seem to be just a tiny bit wider than the wide stairs they already had. Um, and um, you know, the yellow color is okay. It's, you know, it's nice and different, but I'm probably not gonna use them that many times. Okay, so the lamp is a cool ornament, like it could go in like a kind of uh, kind of fun kids room, I guess. Um, or if you want to keep it Vault Tech, Future Tech style. The plushies I was really happy to get because I only have the Windigo plushie, I don't have any other ones, so it was nice to add an extra one to my collection. Well, to start making a collection. Um, and then here we go, the cutout of the Future Tech boy. Now. I only started playing Fallout 76 in January this year, so I'm not too sure who Future Tech is. I didn't play the old games either, so feel free to comment below and let me know the difference between Future Tech and Vault Tech. I mean, like in the name it says Future Tech, so I'm guessing one is like, you know, the future version of it. Okay, so here we go. The um, Death Ray Bug Zapper. Uh, I bought these because the colour looked kind of cool and I thought it might be good for like an outdoor thing. I, um, some of you might know I do build quite a lot of bases and this might be quite useful for an outdoor base. I will say that the blue isn't as blue as the, um, uh, it's not as blue as the uh, icicle lights, okay? So don't buy them just for the blue purposely. Um, so you might have just seen them through the roof. The billboard legs do come through the roof. So if you're planning on chucking it on the roof, it's not necessarily the best idea unless you don't mind that or you can fit it into your style of styling of your base but i do really like the billboards i think they're really like kind of i don't know i think they're just nice and big and it's gonna really make your camp stand out a little bit or make it easier to kind of stylize your base so here we go just having another little look um so you can see how it's placed uh, the details of it on the roof so you, the legs are actually only one section long, but once you start going to a higher level, they do extend further. Now, I did quickly test to see if you could put anything on the back of the sign, and unfortunately, it doesn't seem as though you can. There might be a glitch away around it. But it won't let me put, put a mirror on there or a poster or anything like that. Um, and as you can see, Mr. Cappy doesn't want to go on there either but it does want to go on the front of a sign. So that's something. So if you want to use them to kind of, you know, make a certain style base or put lots of posters on there to make it look really um, busy, then you can do that too. So the camp you can trust, which is nice. And then um, you can see you can stack the two on top of each other. Stacking them is not um, ideal. You have to, um, align it so it doesn't actually protrude through the poster. So you can see here, um, I've had to move the poster back slightly so it's not perfectly in line. Otherwise, uh, the legs come through the, the billboard. 
and here's another one, check out the sales. Now I'm looking at this house in the picture and I'm thinking, isn't it about time we had a nice red wooden house set with some circular window for the top or something? I know we've got a barn building set, but it's not the same. And I, I know we have like the other ones, but you know, maybe we need some more building sets and walls in general. So I don't really get why everyone has these bolt tech generators. Um, the bonus seems to be that they're small and compact and look new and modern. The downside seems to be they only generate free electricity. So, you know, I don't think that's going to get very far considering, say, an extraction, a mineral extraction unit takes, I think, 10. Maybe not as useful as it could be. Just good for an emergency setup of a base, but even then I don't know why you'd need electric unless you're just like trying to power up some water purifiers, which I don't ever do. So, um, you might have noticed the robots in the background haven't finished attacking, they're just there. But, you know, I'm not going to disturb them, just, they can just stay there. So, here are the minecarts. Um, with the minecarts, you can't place any trees on them. By the way, I did have a little check and see. Um, but you can't place trees on them. You can place plants in them, I guess, but not the shrubs or the tree. But um, the minecarts, I think you can use for almost anything. Uh, raider camps and kind of vehicle camps. So here we go, the Easter eggs. The last one was a death claw, and um, I'm re I really like that one. It's my favorite one. The texture's really good on it. Um, there's one more being released. The second of it's coming out on the second, so uh, second of April. Um, make sure you get yours. Um, it's the last Easter egg to claim. So um, we'll be looking forward to that. So there you have it. So we've had billboards, mining carts, and Vault Tech bundle, fly zapper, bug zapper thing, Easter eggs. And um, I hope it was enough to show you a bit of what them, all the items look like. So I will see you in my next video. Thanks for uh, watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And um, again, I'll see you in the next video. Just. Uh, Comment below and let me know about the future tech thing. That'd be great to hear. And um, I'll be bringing out some base builds next, so um, we'll have a look at those soon, okay?